Just thought I'd make a quick video about uh, wooden carved hands for your marionettes and the different options that we have. Now, they can be as basic or as detailed as you like. You can start off with just um, a sort of flat paddle shape for your hand. You don't have to um, even make it um, particularly define the fingers. You can just make a sort of oval shape for your hands like the old Pelham puppets used to have. You can then go more detailed and perhaps just do a hand like so, whereby we've got some definition of the fingers and the thumb is separated out like that. You can also think about making your hands and arms, or at least lower arms, one piece. So rather than having a, a joint at the wrist, for if you want to make a simplistic puppet or you don't want any flexibility at the wrist for your puppet, then you would carve the hand into the same part, uh, same block of wood as the lower arm, and that will give you then a fixed uh, hand position which isn't going to move around. So you always think about what you want your puppet to do, what actions you want it to perform, um, as well as the visual style of the puppet. Now, you might want your puppet to hold something. Now, if you want your puppet to hold something, like with this pirate here, he's got a sword, so you need to accommodate that uh, in your hand shape. So the usual way of doing this is by making the shape of the hand like so. Uh, so you've got a nice hole in there. So when you cut your block um, you can actually drill that hole through and that will give you a, a nice diameter for the piece that you're putting in there. So it gives you something that you can then insert, insert your prop, be it whatever that, that, that your puppet's going to hold into there. So that's something else to think about. Are, is your puppet going to hold or be carrying anything? Now the next step up for that is to make some sort of interesting shapes with your hands. So rather than just having a flat hand or a, a, a gripping hand we can we can then make sort of interesting hand shapes. Um, it just adds a little bit more um, interest to the character and a bit more um, dynamic sort of move, the suggestion of movement to the puppet when the when the fingers are sort of um, splayed out in different ways. So you want to think about what your puppet wants to do as well. So you know you could be pointing or gesturing with the hand as well. To do that you need to obviously incorporate that into your block when you cut it. So it, rather than just cutting a, a shape for your fingers and your thumb, if your hands, if your fingers are going to be in different positions, you need to allow the extra parts in the block there for uh, for the different shapes of the fingers, different positions that your fingers are going to be in there. So always think about that um, in, when you're cutting the block as well. So um, perhaps draw out your hand. It's always worthwhile drawing out the, the hand shape before you do any cutting. And lastly, um, well not, perhaps not lastly, but um, remember that these puppets, they don't have to have natural proportions. So you can elongate your fingers. Um, they don't have to be, um, you know, perfect human looking hands. So you can do very sort of skinny, thin fingers, long fingers, or you can do short, fat fingers. Um, you know, you don't have to go by the normal convention of, of, of what would be correct for a, for a human. After all, this is a, a puppet, so you can do what you like. Generally, puppets' hands are, are bigger. Um, hands, heads and feet are bigger than they normally would be. Um, but you can also change the sort of ind individual proportions um, of the fingers and the uh, and the palms and so so forth to get more expression or more um, to fit in with your your character or get your style of character through. And lastly, the one thing you need to think out about as well, particularly if this is a, a puppet for performance um, rather than just you know play or or um, display, 
is if you're going to separate out your fingers, i.e. have gaps between the fingers, and uh, especially in the thumb here, but maybe more so in the fingers, you want to think about how that's going to affect when you actually operate your puppet because it will be very frustrating if a, a string, a leg string or a, another puppet string or whatever gets caught down there. If you're in, if you're performing that's going to be um, rather annoying. So you'll generally see with performance puppets they don't often have open fingers and when they do what you want to do is um, attach some very thin fishing wire across the tips of the fingers here. You can do that with just some super glue. So just get your th uh, thread um, of, uh, you know, it could be a thin string, but you want something that, that sort of disappears. So a thin fishing wire and just literally glue it onto the tip of the finger across from the thumb to the, across the fingers and come all the way across. And then that will stop any strings um, from coming down uh, into the finger slots there and getting caught up at least hopefully it will so that should um, help you with your um, performing if that's uh, if you want to make a puppet like that so there's some different options um, for hands hands um, I often find to be trickier than faces in a way to carve because people look at their hands more they look you always you know you 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 see your hands every day you see people's hands you don't um, you know what the proportions are. Um, so to get a realistic hand, to carve a realistic hand is actually quite difficult. Um, but as I say, luckily these are puppets, so they don't have to be perfectly realistic looking hands. Um, in fact, puppets look better with you know, different proportions and scaling to their hands sometimes. So there we go. That's a little bit of detail on hands. If I think of anything else, uh, I shall make another video at some point and we can discuss that. In the meantime, I shall see you on the next video.